The DR900 is able to store 500 measurements in the data log. The USB cable received with the meter is necessary to transfer the data log to a PC. The exported data log will be in a .csv Excel file format. Remove the sample lid and connect the USB cable from a PC to the USB port on the DR900. The DR900 will advance to the USB main menu. Select Export Data Log from this menu. The meter will display USB Interface Initiation, Please Wait, and then the meter will display Preparing Data Log File, Please Wait. Upon completion of preparing and exporting the file, the meter will display File Exported as a datalog.csv file. When this is done, select OK. After the data log transfer is complete, select Disconnect USB from the USB main menu on the DR900. The meter will then display Disconnect USB and call for the disconnection of the USB cable to press OK to proceed. Disconnect the cable and press OK. The meter will then return to the measurement menu and the last reading taken. If this is the first time the meter is connected to this PC, it will indicate that it is installing device driver software and then will notify that the installation was complete and ready to use. The PC will show a removable disk and a drive with the prompt to open folder to view files. If this prompt was not visible, then the drive can be located under My Computer. When the drive is open, two files are visible, the datalog.csv file and the eventlog.csv file. The CSV file contains important information, such as instrument serial number, date and time stamp, program name and number, sample location and ID number, username and operator ID, software version. The measurement information also includes the measurement concentration, units, chemical form, if the measurement was over or under range. Absorbance and transmittance values are there, and if there was any adjustment to the measurement, such as a standard adjust or blank adjustment. The event log will capture important changes to the meter, such as software updates, the creation or deletion of user programs, and the addition of a favorites program. Each event will have a date and time stand and an event number.